guys, how you doing today? Uh, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough. Another short whip and chat and uh, an update of where I'm at with things. So, um, oh my gosh, I've just started going, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to do this. Now that I've got the craft room and now that I can shut the shutter door and I don't have to worry about Nathan walking in. Granted, I still do hear him <laughs> when he comes into the kitchen, gets the ice machine going. Um, yeah, um, geisha, round, can't remember the size, um, that's what I'm working on at the moment, and uh, in the 310 life. But before I start placing a drill down, I'm going to show you a quick snippet, quick little something, and there is a diamond painting cushion that I'm making. Oops, and I'm Okay, um, in the process of hopefully two more days and that'll be ready to go. The ca well, the, the video should be out in about two days on how I've done that. So that's one of the things that I've got coming up. Um, I will say that, that, was a di that diamond painting is a cheap diamond painting because it's popping drills off it because I've been touching it so much. Uh, what else? I've got a kidding up I have to do. Um, I will over the next couple of days pull out my blank custom and give this desk a proper test drive <laughs> um, so that big custom you know being what is it about 120 long 100 120 long um, be the first time on this desk so there's that's something coming up soonish uh, hopefully in this these lot of days off um, what have I been up to so obviously putting a cushion together <laughs> without a sewing machine <laughs> yeah um, this morning well today is Anzac Day um, with the way um, social distancing and all of that that's in place at the moment we can't go to Anzac Day parades or any of the services so uh, we got up at half past five this morning and lit a couple of candles and um, stood out there for a while. Um, Neighbours across the road were out, um, neighbours a couple of doors down were out. So we had some of our neighbours were out um, remembering. Um, so dawn service, uh, we get the it, how do I put? Well, it is a it's a it is a remembrance for our Anzac. So today's Anzac Day, Australia, New Zealand Army Corps, and today is uh, basically so that we remember them. Um, but yeah, so we stood out and listened, and um, with the rest of the country. Although I will say, Western Australia, our sunrise, um, most of the country came out to their their doorsteps or the end of their garage, the end of their driveways, um, and you know stood there in silence, commemorative silence, and the last post, and uh, yeah, um, I had a notice come up on my phone, a Facebook memory come up. Um, Eight years ago, I actually went to the Anzac Day Parade in Sydney, so which is a huge, amazing, um, yeah. And you know, I said to Nathan, I said tonight. I said, I said tonight. I said, I said, um, you know, the eight years ago we we did Sydney, and today we were just our driveway. And I think doing it in doing what we did in our driveway felt more. I don't know. It, it was more. It wasn't. And I won't say materialistic because I don't know. There's you know. It's nothing. You're not doing anything except lighting a candle and remembering. There is no big. Um, 
who are around. It's just you are showing your respect for those that fought for our country, fought and died for our country. Well, for Australia and New Zealand. So, yeah, that's um, that was the start of the day. Uh, I don't know how many how many times I heard the last post after that because I had the TV going and we ended up having, although we weren't sitting and watching it, every state, the TV station played every state's um, memorial service in their capital cities. For if, if it was the US, it would be a totally different matter because you just couldn't do that many. But, so we had, I don't think I saw Northern Territory, but we saw Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, Tasmania, Perth, you know, six states, seven, there's actually seven states, but six cities we saw um, the broadcast for their services and all in solidarity, all, I don't know whether it, it was more respectful to me, but that, that anyway, that's me waffling on about, um, yeah, a day that I think was, to me, meant more than the day ten, eight years ago when we went and to a parade. Um, I feel sorry for the diggers that couldn't do, you know, the diggers that can't do, go to the parade this year because, you know, that is where they catch up with people they've gone to war with and fought with, you know, that they don't normally see and that. But anyway, so that was this morning. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. So, Nathan, <laughs> okay, um, Nathan did um, more work on them. Yeah, so I played the foot video footage of me having a coffee while he was sanding, right? So that wall is now painted. Um, so today he finished, so he'd filled it and finished sanding it and done all of that. Um, he wanted to start sanding at about 7 o'clock in the morning and I turned around and said, that's too early to have that sander running. Everybody's going to hear it. It's too early. Um, so we got the hand sander out and um, I didn't hear the electric sander at all today because he found the hand sander, sander was pretty good. Um, well, for what he needed to do, it wasn't really, didn't need that much. Uh, so yeah, he sanded it. Finished it off, he vacuumed it and wiped the wall down, got all the dust off, and he did a base coat. And then the funny bit comes along. So, because we had the house built, we um, <laughs> we have all the colours, we have all the leftover paint in tins. I also have the full colour list for every colour that was painted. Every single thing that was painted with the exception of the interior walls because we did those ourselves it wasn't something that was on our contract written into the contract um, we had picked two colors uh, it doesn't matter what the colors were but one what the other color was our main color but um our bathroom and laundry was actually vivid white one was bathrooms were semi-gloss and the laundry was a high gloss. So Nathan's come across the gone through the paints and gone, oh here we go, this is the one we we'll use. And he goes, You wanted the gloss in the bathrooms and the laundry and um because they were wet areas, it's like, yeah, I did wanted I wanted I actually did wanted the gloss in both in both the bathrooms and the laundry. Um he goes, Well then the, the semi gloss is the what must be the one that we use on the inside of the house on the interior walls and I turned around and said no we didn't use that we used something else it wasn't that and he goes oh it's vivid white this is it this has got it and I'm like nope it's not it I can't remember what it's called but that's not it and oh this is it this is the right paint so I've just put my hands up and walked away and left him to it I disappeared into my craft room um, watched actually watched some Netflix today um, disappeared in the classroom, into the craft room I came out at some stage and put the um, put the 
what to do I do pies for lunch put pies in the oven um, and we're having lunch and I've gone down and looked and he's look, he's looked at it after lunch and he's gone it's not the same color is it it's like nope so I've pulled out my file with all the receipts of everything we spent when we built the house so um, which includes all the paints, paint brushes, rollers, roller trays, tapes, cover all, everything, all the stuff we needed. Um, and in that, in those receipts, I look, went looking, and it was a pre-tinted colour, and it was a wash and wear. And I've turned around and said to Nathan, "Oh, it's this. this that's you know." He said, "Oh, that's the wrong colour." Yes, yeah, it's, it's this is the colour. Um, so there was a few expletives from him. <laughs> and I'm like going, why do you? Well, <laughs> I'm staying out of this. Um, we did have that paint. <laughs> he had picked it up and moved it around, but couldn't work out what it was for. But didn't at the time, he didn't believe it was our interior paint. Um, but yeah. Um, so... Our, the wall that he's done, which is one passage, our passage, we're a long passageway. Um, so the one where I think I've shown a video footage where I've got um, at the end of the hallway that, that my three pictures are going with the cats. Um, so that hallway there. So he's done one wall. Um, yeah. I was, after being up so early for the dawn service, I decided I was going to go and have a nap and just completely stay out of his way because he was not happy and uh, gotten up <laughs> and he's on the couch asleep and I've gotten up and I've gotten the bow together but Bo organised to take him for a work, walk and he goes there we go it's got the right colour on it now it's done it's just got to dry <sighs> oh, I don't know it, it is it wrong when it's like, well, I told you, I didn't get there and sat usually, I told you so, or anything. But he was so frustrated. But because he wouldn't listen to me because he was going, oh no, this is it, this is it. Um, he would, There was no listening. There was no listening. And then when he actually said that doesn't look like the right colour, that was a time for me to go and pull out all the receipts and see if I could find what the correct colour was so I could either say no that's right or yeah no it's not right <laughs> oh gosh 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 but yeah that was rather interesting interesting day um i don't think he was happy oh the language that he had today was rather interesting which is why i partly one of the other reasons why i shot off to bed and went to sleep so I didn't have to hear it because it was just it was non-stop <laughs> okay so yeah that was that was my day so now I'm going to go and have a look at some of the comments now some I haven't responded to from uh, the 21st of April which was my last one from day shift um, so I'll go through and have a look at those so Rivka's enjoying how the birds are coming out. So that's on my gala. Chris my crafts, such a lovely voice. Thank you, Chris my crafts. Um, beautiful painting, love birds. Color combinations of grey and pink is fabulous. Sorry about the migraine, migraine as well, get them. Yeah, not fun, say safe, yep. Um, Tazzy Devil's got there going, hope your shifts go smoothly. I'm off for three days now. Just heard about the Victorian police accident. Text my daughter, she's an officer in Melbourne, she's okay. But gee, that was too close to home. Love the galas and the colours, so vivid. Looking forward to seeing from them stage by stage. So, um, there was an incident in um, Victoria. Uh, where four police officers lost their lives so it was pretty devastating um we have coronavirus is right across the news and that took coronavirus right off the news it was absolutely absolutely horrible 
Uh, Mindy has fan cells fire panel came separate but use the same codes. Wah, win! Um, and Anna's going, the hardest part is figuring out where to put what. I was thinking the shells would be great. Oh, it's nice to have handy friends. <laughs> Very nice to have handy friends. Um, okay, and Kathy, oh, my grand's. Oh, her, had a girlfriend who lives in South Illinois, had a carpenter build a large craft desk and wheels like yours, except it only had one shelf underneath and she uses stools for hers. The carpenter charged 800 to build her table. Glad to hear you're getting your lighting you want. Um, yeah, they, <laughs> wow. There's a bit more information. And uh, where did I find the birds I was currently working on? Um, they are Gemmet. Oh, and I didn't have the link to it there. Um, Gemmet, which is uh, West Australian Company, Kathy, where I got um, Steampunk Girl. So when you ordered from uh, Gemmet in Mandurah, oh, that, that's the company that had it. Okay. Um, an interesting house. She got charged $800 to build a table. Um, I worked out the cost of just the materials and the resin worked about five six hundred dollars um, so I was you know, labor was free thankfully <laughs> and next lot of comments so the whip and chat with the pink and gray galas that I did yesterday um, I did put a poll up that nobody seems to have answered. <laughs> There's 100% saying with screen with big screen with small close up. So option one. Okay, um, let's get these into the order that they came. Okay, non copyright music's there. Here be quick before a hundred. There's the subs, hope all is well. Also, let's be friends. Does anybody else get those? Uh, okay, Brittany, love whipping chats, keep them coming. Love your nails, do you do them self or have them done? My nails, <laughs> there we go. My nails, if we, actually, that one there? Ah, close up, this one's better. So, I have them done. I got them done, I was very lucky, got them done the day before they closed beauty salons. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting day. Uh, <laughs> getting those done. Because I said to Nathan, I've got to go go shopping and I've got to get my nails done. And he's like, you know, the claw like this? I was like, yep, because they'll shut soon and I won't be able to get them done. So I now have to actually start, um, I have to use some of my resin tools on the ends to actually grind them down and I've got to refill them myself so this pattern will be on there for a while might be able to find somebody I've got to I've got to get somebody to do something about it though but no don't do them myself at this stage um Linda wants option one please go and vote um guys it, it does help me um <laughs> Tazzy Devil expected a few expletives from the standing videos Bo looks like he enjoyed his walk thanks for sharing the snippet Hope works out with the losters. I like see that one or two for options as you usually see more than either DP or cross stitch, but love seeing your nail designs. They always look amazing. Thank you. Um, Pippa. Yes, the park is gorgeous and damn that roster. Uh, there is more conversations to be had about that one. I will say that, um, one team got told by bosses so many levels up that they were told basically well be grateful you got a job um yeah it was wrong wrong way to put it um but yeah there's a lot of unhappy people a lot of unhappy people with that roster and you know nathan i said turn around and said to nathan i've got to if if it happens i'm going to take three months off and he's like what do you mean? I don't get it. I said, well, I can't do the roster. If that roster comes in, I can't do the roster. But what, what does it mean about you taking leave? I said, if I can't do the roster, I have to take leave. 
unless they are able to keep me on that roster and I work across crews, I will have to take leave. So they lose a train controller just by, you know, just because of that. Um, yeah, rather interesting process. Um, Tracy, wonder, beautiful that park made you wonder if that's where your sister takes your niece and nephew since they live not far from you. So Tracy, it's the Jungle Adventure Park in Brabham. Uh, I would highly likely that they may have taken because um, people from all over the, the northern suburbs, there's quite a few in this area where they come to that one because it's the actual park itself is brilliant for kids, although it's um, boarded up at the moment, well, it's taped up at the moment. But yeah, and Catherine wants option three, which is just the overhead. Rightio. So, hang on, I'm just going to bring this. I have, because the computer's at the very end of my desk, I uh, have to zoom everything to read it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so quite an interesting thing. Tonight I am actually going to, well, for the first time, get on Zoom. Um, which is going to be fun. Now that's with Marissa, the crafty heifer. And I don't know who else is going to be there, but it's going to be fun. Uh, so hopefully, um, we'll see what happens. Because um, this video will come out after that. Because I know mean, I edit the video. So it's like, this is now 20 to 9. Um, my process from here is you know 20 to 9 so from here I will actually edit the video um, produce it and then I upload it and then I actually have it set to sh show at about 8 30 in the morning here which is probably 8 30 in the US 8 30 9 30 7 30 somewhere around there in the US um, but that way, if I, I do that because if I do this recording, say 11 o'clock at night, it still gives me plenty of time to try and get this out at the same time uh, on the days that I do release one. But I will say thank you guys for your company. Uh, just working with uh, the view of option one. I will say with option one, the close-up camera um, will be either coming from the left or coming from the right depending on which side of the canvas I'm working on uh, because of the way it mounts to my desk just as a little technical thing there which I'm happy to share um, maybe I should take a picture of my desk no I won't take a picture of my desk it's a mess it's a mess <laughs> so guys I will say thank you for joining me yet again tell me about your day um, yeah for those Aussies, those of you that are in Australia, you know, did you get out and stand at your driveway? Did you light a candle um, for our diggers to remember our diggers? So guys, yep, thumbs up, Oops, thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave your comments. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell to be notified of uploads so you uh, know when my uh, next one goes up. Although I will say that my whipping chats, I'm starting to get into a nice little schedule for those for you guys. Just for a, while we're in isolation, just for something to look forward to each day. Just a little chat on how somebody else's day is going. So I will talk to you later. Bye for now.